I O, I O. It's up to work we go. This right here is a baby dragon. All right, I'm ready oh, to conquer okay. this land. I need a flag. <laughs> Most of the time, thanks to modern technology, we get straight to our destinations without ever getting lost. But sometimes it's those off-roads and detours where the real adventure can be found. My name is Harrison Greenbaum, and on behalf of the United States Tour Operators Association, seriously, seriously, we can't get this right like one time. See, oh, you know what? We're upside down now. The whole show's upside down. We live in upside down world, all right? This is recalculating. Jesus Christ! Recalculating. Welcome to Ljubljana, the capital of Slovenia and its geographical center. Ljubljana is a fairy tale come to life, from the medieval castle atop its hill to the countless statues of dragons adorning the entire town, like the ones on this, the Dragon Bridge. Shh, don't tell the Slovenians, but dragons aren't real. Slovenia is known for its complex manufacturing, so its main exports are automobiles, computer parts, and American first ladies. Although Slovenia enjoys a high level of prosperity, with town names like Ljubljana, Trbovje, and Petur, clearly they still can't afford vowels. Did I say any of that correctly? According to a recent study, 1 out of 20 Slovenes keep bees, which means 19 out of 20 Slovenes are constantly wondering why there are so many goddamn bees everywhere. This is the famous Staying Alive statue. It's a tribute to John Travolta. This is Nebotichnik, the first skyscraper in Slovenia. And its name is actually Slovenian for skyscraper. So this is a skyscraper called Skyscraper. It's kind of like calling the Statue of Liberty, Green Torch Lady, or the White House, the White... Okay, that one's just as bad. Nebotichnik was built the same year as the Empire State Building, which is six times as tall, and is not just called building. It's actually a very popular song that debuted in 1969 in Slovenia and was about Nebotichnik. According to the song, this is the terrace where you fall in love. And I've just fallen in love with this. This is potica. It's a Slovenian national cake and it's a nut roll, which is coincidentally also the term that I have for when someone gets crazier and crazier. You know, like, hey, look at Twitter. The president's on a real nut roll. All right, I'm gonna try this. Here we go. Mmm. Oh, yeah. We're about to head to the Postonia Cave Park and check out Slovenia underground. This beautiful site behind me is Predjama Castle, the largest cave castle in the world. Even though it is in the middle of the day, this castle used to be full of knights. Professional comedian. At 15 miles long, the Postonia Cave is the second longest cave in all of Slovenia. And although the trip planning expertise of US2A tour operator members always offers peace of mind, I'm not sure this Slovenian fairy tale is gonna have a happy ending. I can only hope that at the end of this journey, I've collected enough treasure, found enough weapons, and memorized the correct pattern to defeat the boss monster and save the kingdom. All right, let's do it. Dun, 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 dun. Hi, so nice to Hello. meet you. My name is Mario, so I'm your guy. Uh, I heard it's very cold in the cave, so you have something to keep me warm. Yes, here we go. Oh boy, oh, this is the VIP treatment. This is like a Slovenian Snuggie. All right, I guess we get to board this train. I'm so excited. Hi ho, hi ho, we're in Slovenian caves. Oh, look at that. Wow, we are very deep. My cloak is slipping, which means I have no magic in these caves. The ones growing down are called stalactites. The ones growing up are called stalagmites. And the ones growing this way are called death traps. Holy moly. This is incredible. The stalactites have actually formed into a chandelier. I don't know how this happened, but they look exactly like a turn of the century lighting fixture. This is truly nature at its very best. This is uh, the slowest roller coaster I've ever been on. Not a single hill, but a lot of obstacles. Oh no. Ooh, I think I saw a bat. I like that whoever designed this cave chose one color and really stuck to it. When you're on a tour with a USTOA tour operator, you can usually skip the lines and get really intimate experiences like this. It's pretty incredible. 
Okay, we are here now. So what can you tell me about this baby dragon? 